Good afternoon everyone, just a quick one here from my brew shed. It's uh, uh, quite a nice afternoon and I thought I'd do some brewing, so I'm starting with a new recipe we're putting together for you. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, the brew shed's in a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, but I've got a nice glass of blackberry cider to keep me going. And I've already gone ahead and done the grains, but pretty much in the new recipe, sorry about the filming, but there's only me here today, so I've got a black rock light, liquid malt, British series nut brown ale. Let's have a flip around here, see what I can find. Okay. I've got a UK East Kent Goldings, um, just some hop plugs. Just a couple grams of that, and instead of fuggles, I've opted to use a, a Willamette 15 grams. And then, as you can see down here, we've just got the traditional um, SO4 Saf Ale, so that shall do us nicely for English style. What we're trying to make is a bit of a Scotch Ale, but I've taken a bit of a different approach using some more, I wouldn't say flamboyant, but different ingredients. If you have a look in the pot there, I've got my temperature being monitored. Uh, so, in here, let me just get this lit up. Don't want to lose any of that liquid. Okay, the moment is out the way. We've got our grains. Uh, let me get my spoon. So in this pot, we've got uh, our 50 grams of black black grain, uh, 250 grams of caramel grain, and 200 grams of chocolate grain. So that should give us some really nice multi flavors. So we're looking predominantly at the caramel flavors, but a little bit of a cup hint of coffee can't hint can't hurt um, and that's pretty much what I'm doing I don't think I'm gonna do much more video just thought I'd let you know but I wish you could smell what it smells like in here it smells absolutely fantastic anyway catch up with you guys next time